Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul, and I'm a nerd. And you are lucky enough to be here for our July 2019 Coffee Pot webinar, where today we are talking to Tyler Brown from NetDocuments about ND Mail. As many of you probably are aware, uh, Practice Master is getting ready to release integration for document management with NetDocuments. And ND Mail is a subset of, of that, uh, that package. And so uh, last month in the same webinar series, we talked about uh, ND Mail in general uh, with Phil, also from NetDocuments. And next month, we're going to talk about, I believe, collaborative tools, but don't quote me on that, again, from ND Mail, and I think also with Phil. And, uh, in, in between, we're, we're talking to Tyler today. And so now, without any further ado, I am going to pass things over to Tyler and uh, have him tell us a little bit about him and a little bit about net documents and, and I guess a lot about ND mail. Are you there, Tyler? I am. Thank you so much, Paul, for the introduction. <laughs> you did that. You did that just to make me sweat, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the old uh, on mute, trying to be quiet while I contain my enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I just got a, a new headset that tells me if I'm on mute and I start to talk. It says, you're on mute. Uh, I'd like it better if it said, you're on mute, idiot. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Take it away, Tyler. Tell okay. Tell about my mail. All right. Well, first off, Paul, did my screen show up okay? It did. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you all for, for your time today. I appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about ND Mail. Uh, ND Mail is, is actually the product of, a, of kind of a, a shift in culture that we're having here in, in the United States and other places in the world, where because technology has advanced in the way it has, you know, it, it used to be that people were comfortable to come visit you in your office to pick up the phone and give you a call. Now with texting and email and things like that, there's been really almost a paradigm shift where everybody finds it convenient to just shoot an email. It's very impersonal, it's very easy, and it requires very little actual emotional interaction. So because of that, email has become kind of this beast that's gotten, frankly, a little bit out of hand. Um, you know, I was talking to an attorney yesterday during a demonstration who mentioned that on average, he got just himself between three and 500 emails a day. And there is no possible way to keep up with that if you're, you know, just having them pile up in your inbox. You know, there's, there's, there's not enough time in the day to manually move each of those emails to where they should go, whether you know, in general, we find there's two personas. There's those who pile and those who file. And frankly, to some extent, we're all a combination of the two in one way, shape, or form. And what I mean by that is that the pilers typically have a huge inbox of everything that they've ever received. The filers likely have folders that they may drag and drop over and, and move their, their client files into and things that are important and file those away in Outlook folders. <laughs> But some of the reasons that ND Mail came into play is because of the volume of email that's been occurring. And this has been happening for some time. And in listening to, you know, people we're talking to, listening to feedback from, from meetings such as we're having now, that's where we arrive is that email is a problem. The amount and sheer volume can be overwhelming. So that's where ND Mail comes into play. How we've accomplished this is we have plugged into Outlook. And there's two areas where we're doing this. The first is this ND mail panel here. Now this can be placed wherever the user might like it to appear. That's total preferential theme there. The second area is this panel at the bottom left here. These are navigation panels for net documents. This is the predictive email filing tool. Now how this is done, is that a user can come into their inbox and simply click upon an email. And sometimes faster than we can even see, it is generating predictions. And these predictions are based upon the contents of that email, ranging from who sent the email, anyone CC'd on the email, 
attachments on the email, and even the body of the email. What this does is this allows for sometimes millions of comparisons a second based upon the information that you already have stored in that document. So that with a very high degree of probability, we can then return to a user a cell phone bar status like tool to indicate the likelihood of where that email should land. A user can then simply click the corresponding location and move on to the next email. And in doing so, it files a copy of that email within that location in that documents. So what we've accomplished with this is we've provided a very intuitive method to quickly and easily file email. Now, there's two other factors here that are important. When we file an email, we are given an indicator in this ND column here that that email has been filed. And more importantly, that indicator is global. So for example, if you and four members of your team were all tagged on the same email, and you happen to get to it first, you file that email away, the other four members of your team would also have that same indicator appear, telling them that the email's been filed, they don't need to file it, but also giving them an indication of where to find that corresponding email. And that way we can, in, well, we can very efficiently reduce the likelihood that we're going to have a pile of the same email filed away. And we're also helping a user to be able to manage their inbox. As if you are, you happen to be of the piler persona, it's very easy to scroll through your inbox and see what has and has not been filed with that simple indicator. Now, maybe you like to file email. I'm kind of in between those two personas. I, I file emails frequently. Uh, I'm going to switch to the folder view of Outlook to help illustrate this a little bit better. Okay. So uh, typically the, the filers are, are attempting to fix a broken system already because the sheer quantity of email can be overwhelming, but it's nice to have a, a location where you can enter and have just the emails for one particular client without having to search. So what we've done here is we've provided the ability, if we look closely here, we have an ND icon next to Robert Bork here. We've provided the ability to simply right click on any folder and map that folder to net documents. Now this is actually quite powerful because now everything we drag and drop to that particular folder will actually land in that folder and in net documents at the same time. That way, you can still continue to work the way you have and the way you always will, while still maintaining a complete client file. The beauty of that is, as well, that any attachments or things of that nature that you drag and drop into that folder will also be added to that documents as well. The idea being that we can accommodate as many user types as possible and fit the way you work more so than having you fit the way the platform works. Okay, now I wanna talk a little bit about outgoing email. Uh, so if I was to click on a new email here, you'll notice end email appears right here as well. Now, how this works is if I was to begin typing who I'm sending this email to, I may CC some individuals, provide a subject and a body. Each time I add information to this, the predictions will change. And just as we're doing with the incoming email, when it becomes time to send this email, it will have identified the location in which this should be saved. I can simply check the box, hit send, and I have now filed the outgoing email which will land right next to the incoming email within that documents. And this way we end up with a complete record of the correspondence between us, between our clients, and we have that all together in one central area to locate. Another problem that solves is frequently I will talk to individuals who have a, a challenge in their firm where maybe they're getting part of the conversation from a client, 
They may have an assistant getting part of the conversation from a client, and there may be another attorney involved somewhere along the way. But the point being that they each have communication from this client that may or may not have gotten to each of the others involved. Having that one central area linked through ND Mail eliminates that confusion, prevents those back and forth conversations in, uh oh, I just realized that you knew about that and I didn't kind of deal. So very easy, very intuitive, and it's using and leveraging machine learning to benefit the end user. Really, email would probably be filed more often if it was easier to do, and that's what we've accomplished here with ND Mail. More people are likely to file email if it is that simple. So that's what we're really after. Finally, I want to talk about um, the panel here. What this panel is and what it does uh, is that in that documents we found that over our 20 years of, of document management in the cloud, that it becomes vitally important for different user types to have access where they spend the most of their time. If you're like me, I probably spend 80% of my day in Outlook. Outlook is always open on my online machine. I'm always monitoring that communication coming in and out. Uh, you know, it's always there in some way, shape, or form. And so what this does is this allows us the unique ability to access the document management system through the ND mail package to be able to work right from Outlook. So right here, if I click here, it's actually going to give me access to all of my documents right within Outlook, thus giving me a um, platform, if you will, to, to work completely from Outlook if I choose. You know, if I'm spending most of my time here, it makes logical sense that I access my documents here. And that's what we've tried to do is bring that convenience to the user so that very easily you can access documents side by side with the email. And if I was to click once, I now have a preview here. That wasn't a very good document to preview. Let's switch to this other one. If I click twice, I'm gonna open that within its native program. I'm even given the ability to search through net documents and access other features that are typically available in the browser. But thus, very easily, we're bringing documents and email together, providing a hub where a user through ND Mail can not only save email, but access documents, make changes and edits, and use this as a hub, as if you're like me, you may spend a good portion of your day within the email, within Outlook. We're all interacting with that in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Well, I promised I would keep that short and sweet. Um, Paul, anything I should add? <laughs> I think that's it. That's what we were looking for, a real nice dive into ND Mail because it's such a significant part of NetDive. Um, cool, awesome. Thanks so much, Tyler. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to me and uh, just take a second. Well, I pressed the wrong thing. Where did it go? I hate computers. Is this a bad time to admit that? Should I uh, should I try not to admit the fact that I hate computers? There we go. Um, there it is. <laughs> Back to Paul. And I just want to take a quick second and uh, show everybody. Can you see my screen, Tyler? Has, have I done this effectively? Looks good. Oh. Awesome. I just want to take a quick moment and explain to everybody how you can get to this content if you want to show this webinar to somebody else in your firm or any of the other content that we may have on our website. Uh, and that's the key. It's on our website. So if you go to attorneycomputersystems.com, notice my emphasis on that last S in the word systems. And if you click on this videos button here or this videos menu option, just click right on the word videos and you'll be taken to a screen that shows you all of our six video titles. The first four are live events. You happen to be in one right now, the Coffee Pot webinar. We also have a tab three virtual user group meeting, a practice master virtual user group meeting, and a world docs virtual user group meeting. Boo, uh, um, we will very soon be adding a net documents virtual user group meeting since net documents is a new product to us based on the integration that practice master has. And just in case you're curious, we're also going to be adding one on Cosmolex because that's also a new product that is in the tabs three software family, which is 
you may know as an attendee of one of these webinars that that's kind of what we focus on here at Attorney Computer Systems Tabs and Practice Master and all the good things you put into it. Um, we also have our coffee pot webinars, and then we have two uh, titles, if you will, that uh, are pre-recorded. They aren't live events. Mary Jo, uh, one of our consultants here, has her eBytes video series where she takes uh, a, a tabs or world docs or practice master topic and covers it very quickly. These are um, eBytes, as the name implies, uh, meaning that they're about two minutes long. So if we find something really cool in one of those three products uh, and, uh, and explain it. Um, we will again be adding eBytes for, for Cosmolex and World Docs sometime over the next couple months. So you'll see those here also. And we also have the longer format Paul and Mary Jo show where either I or Mary Jo will take a, a topic from any of those five products, but one that requires a little bit more time to take a deeper dive into something that's broader in nature. And so we'll spend 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes getting into the nuts and bolts of whatever that particular topic is that month. We record one of those each month, and so it we rotates between the five products. Um, if you click on more info for any of these, I'm going to go into the Coffee Pot webinars because that's where we are right now. You will find at the very top um, a white blank sheet of paper. There we go. <laughs> the title of the, uh, of the, of the video, uh, the, a short description of what the series entails. And then since it's a live event, you'll find information on the next uh, the next um, upcoming live event. And so this is the August uh, August uh, Coffee Pot webinar, where, as I said, we have uh, Phil coming back to talk about the collaborative tools that are in um, Net Documents. Uh, we don't have, if you're familiar with how we used to do this, we don't have links anymore for the live events to register. We just have a, uh, a form right here on the screen. You fill in your details, you hit register, and you're ready to go. Um, and then as we scroll down, we will find recorded versions of all the other webinars that we've ever done. Um, uh, this is the one we're currently in. So as you can see, it's, it's in post-production. It's not even there yet. We haven't sent it to Brad, our post-production manager. Uh, but then as you scroll down further, you'll find recorded versions of every other webinar we've done in that particular topic. And as you can see, there's 19 pages of Coffee Pot webinars that I believe five on a page. So we got lots of these. We got lots of the VUGs, the virtual user group meetings. We've got lots of the key bites and the Paul and Mary Joe. So we have somewhere between 800 and 900 videos on our site dealing with these five products. So please take advantage of that. They're free. They're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You can scroll and browse to your heart's content. You can use the search button to find exactly what you may be looking for. And if we have something on that, you'll, you'll get it in the list. Uh, but the point is, uh, sit by the fire with your laptop with a glass of wine. That's, I've heard people actually do that. So um, <laughs> you can do it too. That's it for today. Everybody have a good rest of the day, good rest of the month, and we will see you in August. Thanks. Bye-bye.